Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So as in the title, I am doing a video of showing you what's in the kids' stockings. So as every year I show you, and I will leave previous years below, but again, their stockings are the same. I don't know why they're always such difference in size, but they're from the same company. I got these a good few years ago now from the white company, the outlet, and they're uh, like handmade, and they're wool, and they're just beautiful as you can see. You can really stuff them because they're so, so big. Um, yeah, one's bigger than the other. Alistair always gets the biggest one. I just give it to him because I feel like he's the oldest. Um, so yeah, that's their stockings. Um, and I pulled them out of the loft. The funniest thing is about this video is that we are it's still in November. So I am super, super sort of productive and organized this year um, at getting on top of sort of Christmassy videos. I really want to try and do Vlogmas this year. I don't think I did it last year, but I want to just have a backup of videos. So if you see me in the same top or if you see me in a children need badge, this has been filmed before. Um, but anyway, let's get on to stocking fillets. So I actually filled up my veggie bags. Ooh, these are the kids stocking fillers. So I'm going to go through each bag and show you exactly what I got them. I feel like their stockings are really, really good this year. I feel like I've really pushed the boat out. Maybe a bit more so because they're older and they're kind of into little things now and they can pretty much, you know, have anything. You know, it's not like I'm picking for a baby where they can have any baby things. There's just so much to choose from now for kids. Um, so I will pull one thing out at a time. The first thing is this Hatch and Grow Llama. This is from B&M. Um, it was $1.99 and it's for three years plus. You, you add meat to a cup of water and watch it hatch. We've had these before in different kind of versions. We've never had the llama and I got this for Violet, obviously. Um, yeah, just a really cute stocking filler. I'm sure she'll love that. Um, I also got this hand uh, shower mitt, this little unicorn. Again, this was £1.49 from B&M. From Tiger, I got Violet this little money box with a little padlock and key. I thought that was just super cute. This was £2. And um, this is the girly design. It's got like peacocks on. Uh, the boys version was, I would say, a tad babyish for Alistair. That's why I didn't actually get him one. But it was dinosaurs. But it was super cute. But I just think it was just a bit babyish for him. But um, yeah, so that is the little money box for Violet. This is a random one, actually. I bought this ages ago. I bought a couple of these from Tesco. They had these reduced down to 35p for the pack. So it's kind of like... Uh, iridescent stationery set. I'm not sure if you can even see, but there's a pen, a pencil, and a there's a rubber in there and a, a sharpener. Um, yeah, so these were only 35p. We've actually put some of these towards some of her friends' little gifts and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I just thought that was like perfect size and it's super cheap and it's useful as well for, you know, writing and the little pencil case is quite sweet. I got one of the light up Christmas trees. This is from Home Bargains. I think this was about 69p. Also, we have the blizzard bubbles. You basically create your own blizzard using this sort of contraption here. This is from B&M. I think, again, it was kind of on the end of an aisle. It was 199 it's just a bit of fun. So I got that for her. I also got her some unicorn nail stickers. Um, I thought they were really sweet. I actually got these from Amazon. I think they were about 2 50 or three pounds. Um, but I thought she would absolutely love these. I have a feeling they might be glow in the dark as well. Um, but yeah, there's 78 stickers, which is actually quite, quite a lot. So she's got those. I also got for her a little um, angel pen. It's got a little thing on the end here. But um, this is from Tiger and this was a pound. Again from B&M, I think it was B&M or might have been Home Bargains. I got them both one of these chocolate lollies. It's a double pack and these were a pound, I think. They might even been under a pound, I can't remember. I also got her a Num Noms. This is kind of like one of those blind bag surprises. Um, I'm not really 100% sure what it is, but it was kind of in the reduced section, so I thought I would just put that towards it. Again, from B&M, I got her this little keychain. It's a little um, glitzy 
I think it's a unicorn, yeah, unicorn head with a little pom-pom. I thought she could put that on her book bag or her backpack or something. This was about 75p. Both have a large chocolate coin, again, from Tiger. These were a pound. So from H&M, I saw this randomly when I was in there. This is a little necklace and it was only $1.99. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. Oh, hang on. But there's a little um, little reindeer. I'm not even sure if you can see that that well, but it's a little reindeer necklace. Uh, and for $1.99, I thought that was a really good value and it is super cute. And they do have so many gorgeous, like, little... I've never really looked properly in H&M, like in the sort of accessories area, but they have so many cute little girls things, like hair accessories, hair bands, necklaces, lip balms. Like, it's just, yeah, it's a really sweet section, actually. Um, another thing I got from Tiger, they both have this. This is a little game pad. I thought this would be really good for when we go on road trips and when we go on holidays. Basically, um, each pad either has dots for, um, I don't know, you can just play, play some sort of games with dots. You could do Hangman on here. Um, you can do knots and crosses. They've already got it like kind of drawn out for you. Another thing I got, which she has asked for for ages and ages, and I thought, well, it's quite a small gift, so I thought I'd, it would be perfect for a stocking filler. Some food packets for her baby born or baby Annabelle. Um, these are from Smith's. I think they're about three pounds from what I remember, or four pounds. There's 12 sachets in here. And then lastly for Violet, I got her this really sweet little purse with a V on, with a little pom-pom attached. Um, obviously it's got a little zipper up here. This was, I'm not sure exactly, I think it was about three or four pounds, but it was from Matalan. Again, they have some really cute personalized things, whether it's a wash bag, purses, um, just some really sweet stuff, loads of different colours, designs, and I really like this one for Violet, so I got her that, it's just a little bit glittery, and I know this would really come in handy for her little, little money, you know when they get to an age where they want to take their own money out with them and spend it in the shop, I thought this would be perfect. So that is pretty much everything I got Violet for her stocking, um, I think she's done really well this year, I'm really happy with what I found, and I haven't spent too much either, so now I'm going to show you everything that I got Alistair. Some of these things are going to be duplicate, obviously. First item is this voice changer from B&M. It was $2.99 and I just thought it was a bit fun. I know he's going to love it. He also has a novelty pen from Tiger for a pound. This one is a little Father Christmas. Okay, also from B&M, he has got this magnetic sculpture. I got this absolutely weeks ago. It's just one of those sort of... Um, magnetic things where it comes with loads of balls and you can kind of make it into a kind of display thing. Um, just a little novelty gift. I think he would like that on his desk. So he's got that. Also um, from Smith's I actually got him this treasure. X marks the spot. What will you find real gold dipped in treasure? So this is kind of like a boy's version of a blind bag. Um, from what I can gather um, and it says 10 levels of adventure one you find a map you rip the gold you use the coin on your quest I don't know and you basically just go through loads of different things to find the gold um, I just thought he would find that really interesting um, he also got a little light up novelty thing this is a little snowman from Home Bargains I got him a little Hot Wheels car god I've had this for ages uh, this is a custom Ford Maverick. Um, I think these are about a pound, but I thought that would be quite nice. He does like cars. And I also got him a little uh, Ninja, Lego Ninja blind bag. These were They were doing these in Tesco for only 75p, so that's why I picked one up. He's also got a gold coin, and he has this fun plastic, the a Magic Balloon Making Kit. This was also from B&M on the end aisle um, where I got Violet's Blizzard Bubbles. This was also $1.99. He also has a two pack of chocolate lollies. He also has the game pack um, for On The Road. That's also from Tiger. And then also from Tiger, I got him, oh, it's a bit of a noisy one. It's a pinball game. This was two pounds. He only had a, kind of like a boyish version of this. Um, it's kind of a space theme. I just thought that was a bit of a fun. He would 
gets some entertainment out of that. He loves things like this. It's a bit of an old school pinball game. And then lastly, he has got the Diary of a Wimpy Kid Zooey Mama card game. I actually picked this up on Amazon. I just saw it randomly. I didn't even know it existed, but I saw it randomly on there. He loves Diary of a Wimpy Kid, like the books, the films. Um, this pack, I think, was about three pounds. Um, and I thought it could be a fun family game that we could play. So that is pretty much everything I got the children um, for their stockings. Um, yeah, I've just got to wrap everything up now and then put them all in their stockings. Um, but yeah, I really hope this has given you some ideas. My children are seven and nine, if you're wondering and if you're new. Um, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it. Again, I will leave all the previous years below because I have probably been doing this video for about four to five years. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I have so many more videos to come out especially over December. Hopefully give you some inspiration of what to buy people um, over the coming weeks because, you know, we really haven't got long till Christmas. But um, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it and I will see you all soon.